Guess who's done for the day? I couldn't imagine. It's me. I am. That's who. Lucky you. Um, I think you should check out the East stairwell. Are you going to ask me why? I'm assuming you cleaned it. That doesn't even begin to describe it. It's a, a work of art. That is great. Okay, a little enthusiasm here would be nice. It's a stairwell, Casey. And if it means that much to you, I'll try not to use it and mess it up. Okay, so what did I do wrong so I can apologize about it and we could go back to having a real conversation? Why are you so mad? I'm not mad at you. Really? I know, it's hard to believe. Is this about the other day? The other day. When we almost kissed? Are you, I, I don't know, uh, weirded out about it? Because if you are, I Yeah, just... I'm really not. Uh, in fact, I actually completely forgot about it. Okay, that's cool, whatever. And, and why would I even be weirded out by it? I mean, it's not like we haven't kissed before, you know, but we're just friends. Yeah, and, and friends don't kiss friends. Right. Besides, we both agreed we don't want anything more. Right? Okay, I might be completely overstepping my bounds here, and if I am, just tell me I won't be offended because I know that I keep coming to you with this. It's... You it, want to talk to me about Derek and Jade. Please, sit. Yeah. Look, has she even mentioned Derek to you? No, she hasn't. I, I tried to talk to her at New Year's Eve, and it didn't really go over so well. I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, come on, Lily. There has to be something we can do. They can't just keep walking around, avoiding each other. Jade is one stubborn little girl. I mean, if she doesn't want to do something, good luck convincing her otherwise. She's a lot like my sister that way. Maybe that stubborn streak is an all rose. Derek and Jade, they are a lot alike. And I would just hate for them to miss out on the chance to get to know each other. But Robbie Sanchez was in your custody, Agent Munez. I mean, how did he manage to escape the federal pen? All right, fine. F fine, fine, you don't know. But the prisoner is not in my jurisdiction. Why are you talking to someone in Florida? Chicago. When? Barney, I got your note. The napkin's cute, but why didn't you just text me? Barney? Sanchez. What's up, puppy? What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be in jail. So I decided I have more important things to do. Yeah, like what? Like making you and that little bitch pay? If you're talking about Jade... Who else would I be talking about, man? She turned on me. And she's gonna be sorry. Just as sorry as you. Jade! <laughs> That's why you didn't come home last night. Yeah, yeah. I my spent the night in Noah's room. <laughs> and my roommate's on extended winter break, so... <laughs> oh, and they're taking full advantage. Yeah, yeah. Well, good for you guys. Mm, incredibly good. <laughs> <laughs> Noah? <laughs> but I'm just agreeing with her. But anyways, I just wanted to say thank We both wanted to say thank you so much. If, if you and Casey hadn't pushed us together a couple days ago, who knows where we'd be right now. Yeah. Probably giving each other the cold shoulder. Well, it was actually a fluke, but you're welcome. Uh, glad everything worked out for you guys. Well, not, not everything. What do you mean? Well, my grandmother and I still kind of have issues. I thought things were better with her. Yeah, so did I. Well, I've called it truth. It's not like before Brian came into the picture. I don't know if she'll ever get over what he did to her. Until she does, I don't know why that leaves us. What the hell are you doing here? I came to collect my things. Oh, you mean these things? These things are all right. Let me help you. Making it easier for you. Why are you doing this? I thought I told you. I never want to see you again. Kicking me out wasn't enough. Now you got to resort to destroying my personal property as well. I am ridding myself of anything that might remind me of you. Well, this is too damn bad, lady, because I'm not going anywhere. understand that you hate me. I, I never said that. But you know that I never set out to hurt you, Lucinda. No. You, you wanted 
You want to take care of me. You wanted to give me something to live for. Someone to love. I did love you. I do love you. No, not, not, not really. You couldn't manage that. Well, you make it sound like I, I didn't want to. I did the best I could. What, what, what was I? Some kind of a test case? Well, what, do you, what do you need me to say? What, what will it take to make this better? can't make it better i came into the relationship i really did i tried i came with an open mind and an open heart but you weren't able to do that i'm sorry well sorry sorry isn't good enough you also told me that i was beautiful and desirable listen to listen to look at me look at me and tell me that you have any doubts that i loved you that I ever thought about loving you back. Oh, you guys are finally together and happy. Don't let your grandma ruin this for you. Well, that's not what she's doing. I get where Lucinda's coming from. I mean, remember how it was for Maddie when she found out I was gay? It wasn't something she could accept overnight. Oh, fooling Maddie into thinking you're straight, I can see that happening. I mean, she was on the rebound from Casey. She's not really Miss Sophisticated. But Lucinda's been alive for a long time. How could she not see that? And not only that, then ask him to marry her? Because she thought he loved her. You only see what you want to see. If you ask me, they were both in denial. I, I know we sort of blurred the lines a little bit on New Year's Eve. You know why that happened, Casey? Yes. Uh, you were willing to do anything to cover the fact that you were hiding Lucy and Johnny in that room. And you were really messed up over Maddie. No, I wasn't exactly messed up. Okay, it doesn't matter. Because what happened... That night didn't mean anything. How can you say that? Speaking for myself, you Allison, know, I... thanks again for those tickets. Oh, you're welcome. What, what tickets? To ACDC. Oh, you missed a great show. Uh, gotta love the ER. Thanks again. You had tickets to ACDC? Yeah, I got them last minute. It's not a big deal. And you bailed? Why? What? I didn't have anyone to go with. Hello, um, I love those guys, all those hours playing rock star. Did, did any of those songs sound familiar? <laughs> okay, honestly, Casey, I, I did think of asking you, but I, I didn't want you to get the wrong impression. Oh, okay, so we're friends, but we can't really go out if we make plans first. Do I, do I have it right? I'm just... You know what, Casey? If you really wanted to go, you could have gotten your own tickets and made a real big night of it. <sighs> I have patience to go check on. Don't give up on Derek so easily. This is a difficult situation for everyone. It's going to take a while to sort through it, no matter what the outcome is. Oh, sorry. So I get to here. Hello? Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, it's Margo. Where are you? Uh, I'm at Lily's at the moment. Great. Stay there. I'm on my way. So this is it. This is how we're going to end, end things. Things ended between us long before this. I know I've made some terrible mistakes. Um, yeah. <laughs> you tried to to bed my grandson. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think that any woman could really call that just an error in judgment. No, it's just that um, I was floundering for so long. I, uh, when we found each other, you grounded me. <laughs> Listen to you, were the, you became the one thing in my life that made any sense. I just wanted someone to hide behind. No! Now, why are you so determined to act as if nothing we had was real? Because it wasn't real. I deserve better. Yes. Yes, you do. And I wish I could have given that to you. You don't know how much I wish I could have given that to you. Well, there's no point in talking about this anymore. I don't want, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Want to beg? Is that it? Will, will that make you feel better? This isn't about making me feel any better. I'm not asking you to forgive me. No, this is about me helping you to find some closure. Yeah, I really thought that because I cared about you so much, I could make this work. And I'm just, I'm just asking you to give me the benefit of the doubt. No, I can't give you anything. 
I mean, I can't give you anything. Look, you want this? Okay, let me give this to you. Here it is. That's it. Take it. And go. And go now, please, quickly. 